After years of delays, over 200 very old rape case trials might start by the end of July. By the end of July, around 200 very old rape cases could go to trial, a senior judge has declared. The senior presiding judge for England and Wales, Lord Justice Adis, is now reviewing 181 cases, some of which entail retrials and some of which feature children as the alleged victims. The cases have been at Crown Courts across England and Wales since 2021, a delay that is an unacceptable state of affairs from the point of view of the complainants, the witnesses, the defendants, and justice generally. The system suffered some shocks over the last four years, because of the pandemic, we didn't used to have this problem, and the current situation is the product of those shocks, the judge said. There were 3,355 rape cases awaiting trial as of January, with about 6% of those classed as a very old, Lord Justice Adis said. The Court of Appeal judge, who oversees leading Crown Court judges, said, it's a small proportion of the total number of rape cases that we have to deal with that end up getting this old but, nevertheless, it's a significant injustice because the system has recovered its capacity. We are now in a position to make some choices. We are not in a hand-to-mouth crisis now. Labor's Shadow Justice Secretary Shabana Mahmood welcomed the a significant intervention, but added, it's ultimately the responsibility of government to ensure a functional criminal justice system, and their abysmal failure has led to a record backlog of cases. It should not fall to judges to ensure that rape victims do not wait for years to have their cases heard. The announcement follows a poll conducted by the Criminal Bar Association, which revealed that over 60% of attorneys licensed to handle rape and severe sexual offense cases stated they would not reapply to the specialist list to practice. Commenting on this, Lord Justice Adis said, Our system requires a substantial supply of skilled and experienced advocates in all our offense categories, but nowhere more than in rape and other serious sexual offenses. If that supply is threatened, for whatever reason, our capacity to deal with the work is inhibited and that is a significant limiting factor. We hope that there will be work done, investment made in the long term, in order to sustain that necessary supply of skilled people working in the system. They are a very valuable asset and it's disappointing to read that survey, but I hope that that survey can be the start of efforts to put the situation right, because we can't run the system without advocates.